Hello, my name is Henry and today I'm going to be talking about how I would revise for GCSE Science with one month until the exams begin. So for a bit of context, for anyone that's new here, I got three nines in, well I got nines in all my subjects, but three nines in science. Um, and this YouTube channel is just me trying to give as much revision advice as I can for GCSEs and next year for A-levels. Um, so please subscribe if you're new and make sure you check out my videos because I have done videos on almost every subject that I did now and I've gotten people to talk about different subjects and I also talk about more general revision advice so things like procrastination, mental health, stuff like that. So please subscribe and leave a like. Okay, so in short, the the um, how I would revise science is this method. I would use Seneca for it to cover all of the content then I would do topic tests and pass papers to make sure my exam technique is there. And then I would also YouTube using free science lessons to go over the content again and flashcard my weaknesses. So that's the kind of summary. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail into that so you know why and how you can do that. OK, before I properly get into this, I would just like to promote my GCSE subject spreadsheet. So if you're not familiar with this, what this is, is basically a list of every single topic you need to know in all subjects i can personalize it for you um for all your exam boards and stuff and what you can do is kind of rank everything one to three and it it like puts it all together so you can like everything that you're good at is green and everything you're bad at is red so you can clearly see what you need to revise i'm now selling this on offer for seven pounds fifty for if you do aqa triple science and maths so i've got aqa or just aqa science i've got an aqa science um, and math spreadsheet now for £7.50 and those are the subjects that I thought it was most effective with. So that link is in the description if any of you guys want that to help you target the topics you're worst at because I do talk about targeting these topics um, in this video. Okay, so I'm going to start with Seneca. I always promote Seneca, it's my favourite revision resource. I think it's great for learning the content and giving you a good base level of knowledge. Um, so for anyone, Cognito as well, people have asked me do I recommend Cognito? Yes, I didn't use it, but I know that it's good as well and it's very similar to Seneca. So Seneca or Cognito could work. But what I would do is I would start, depending on how much time like you're willing to put in, I would go through all of the Seneca content for all of the sciences between now and the exams. If you're pressed for time or, you know, science isn't a massive priority or things like that, you could do the Senecas of the topics you're weakest at first or like prioritise them. But if not, for people who are stuck with where to start on revision, go on to Seneca Add your courses. I've done a, a um, like video on a tutorial on that, and then just work from the beginning. So maybe do half topic or a topic today. Um, you know, tomorrow do another topic. Things like that. So that's what I do with Seneca, and that gives you a good base level of knowledge. Okay. Secondly, topic tests, topic questions. So what I would do is about a week after you go over the Seneca of a course or uh, like topic, like biology topic one, I would do a topic paper on this topic too. So this has to be a week after because it helps it stay fresh in your brain as well. If you're going over it again, it keeps your memory up and good. So I do that. You can get these on Physics and Math Tutor. I'll link it in the description. Um, I'd go through it. I'd mark it. Anything I got wrong, I'd make a note of or I'd watch a video on to try and understand like a YouTube video. Then I'd record it. I recorded it in my spreadsheet, but this, this can just allow you to see your progress over time, your weaker topics, stuff like that. Then what I would do is now we probably don't have time to flashcard the whole of science or anything like that. So I'd go to the CGP book on my weaker topics. It's all about finding weaker topics and revising them. But I would go to the CGP revision guide and I would flashcard onto flashcards. I've done a video on flashcards and how to use them effectively too. Um, they're probably the best revision like way of revising overall, in my opinion, along with practice tests and stuff. But I would go and flashcard anything I don't remember or anything that's really important to specifically remember. So there's like gas tests in chemistry and stuff like that, or maybe some physics equations that are really important to remember. That's the method I would use in terms of that is flashcarding them. And finally, YouTube. So in the in about a week before all of the exams came up, what I would do is I'd go to free science lessons and I'd just watch maybe one topic a day or something, all of his videos on that. It's all about trying to like test yourself in as many different ways as possible. And this really helps you remember it. And he goes into a little bit more detail than Seneca does. So I'd also try and watch all of his videos if you can from now until the exams, maybe do half, maybe like target your weaker areas. And that is just to kind of summarise how I would revise in science. It's quite simple, I think, if you follow those steps. It allows you to get the content, the memorisation and a lot of exam practice. I'll be doing videos on how to revise close to exams so you can see more specifically like what I did in the build up to the exams, like the days and weeks before. 
because what I did in science really helps, which was doing loads and loads of questions right before the exams, but I will go into more detail in that in other videos. For those aiming for a grade nine, so really high, I did also order some grade nine books from CGP from Amazon. Amazon. So if you Google like grade nine CGP revision guides or that's something, they come up with questions that are like grade nine targeted. I use this most for physics because physics has a lot of really difficult maths questions. So if you can get good at them, that's really helpful. Um, and chemistry, quantitative, I think it's pronounced chemistry, stuff like that too. So those are people for aiming for grade nine. So I did that too and it really helped me. And if I went back, I'd definitely do that again. So I hope that helped. Please leave any comments. It was quite a quick video, but I just wanted to get as much in as I could. Um, yeah, please leave any comments and I'll respond to them, any longer emails. Or if you want to book a one-to-one -one tuition session, um, I it's for half an hour, it's £15 or an hour, £25. And I can go through that topic and give you one-off or maybe a bit more regular, anything like that. Just send me an email and let me know. I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.